push P. I'm pushing P. Push P. I'm pushing P. Yeah. yeah. Push P. I'm pushing P. Push P. I'm pushing P. Let's do this thing. Well, the time has finally arrived. My first interview here in Alabama. It's been a long time, but it's time to finally pursue it. And I couldn't have two finer gentlemen to conduct this first interview in Alabama. I got Jack Baldwin, who's the owner of Crimson Cuts, alongside of me, and his mentor Terry to the right of me. It's that quintessential mentor protege relationship, and I'm ready to examine this and learn more about it. Guys, I'm psyched for this. How are y'all feeling today? Let's do this thing. Yeah, I love it. Yep. And I, I, I think y'all can agree too. It's time for you to get a chop. It is time. Um, you know, I, I was here, what, Terry, two weeks ago? I mean, I, I, I know we can use my barber. You're, you're, you're going to be my barber here for the next year and a half until I graduate. You, you did a bang up job two weeks ago. Fantastic. Um, Thank you, because um, one thing I'll say is about uh, the thing about being a barber, I have 30 years of experience. Yeah. A haircut makes people feel good. Oh, yeah. Time. There's nothing like having a barber, whether you're just a regular guy with $10 or you're a millionaire or a billionaire. Everybody has to sit in the barber chair. So, you know, a barber shop is very important. You know, I feel like the man when I walk out of one. I feel like ready to give a motivational speech or go for a 10 mile run or something. I I, I just got the juice when I walk out of here. Got <laughs> <laughs> the juice. All of the same young Sauce. Give me the sauce. Uh, so what you're saying is we get a haircut before sauce. a test. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jared, that's just, I never even thought of that. Yeah, yeah. That's a smart like idea. Bucks. Mm -hmm. Especially geology. I mean, I need anything I can get when it comes to geology. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to come and I got a crimson cusp before my next exam. Get nice. chopped up and then hop on the laptop and do that. Thing. <laughs> but it's time for a chop. You know, Terry's going to chop me up here today, get all the. The, the sides align, trim down the top a little bit. I, I think, honestly, I think it's perfect. Right you like now. the top. You like the top. I like the top. Like the top. Yeah. No, well, one of my friends made the observation this morning. Yeah. My, my, my hair is a little brown in the back. Yeah, I was. I noticed that today too. I was curious about that. Now people always oh, ask me like if I color my hair. Yeah. I don't color my hair. This is, and I don't put any product in it yeah. or do anything to it. This wow. is all natural. It just happens. Interesting. Wow. But it's the sun. Yeah, it's unique. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. I, I, I fall for the uniqueness. You know, that's, what, that's what it's all about. You manifested it. And I manifested yeah. it, and um, this is a very unique barbershop here, too, and I'm excited to learn more about it. I'm excited to talk about it. Here, pause that for a second. Pause second. Somebody's calling me. <laughs> What's going on? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't know, man. <laughs> I did great. I'm going to tell you more about it. I'm in my interview right now. It's, it's, I'm getting all this footage, guys. Going on. I'm just really in. I don't know. Yes, yes, I will. I appreciate it. All right, go well, I love you. Was it this wrong or were we actually into the interview? Um, no, that, 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 that was part of the interview. I mean, look. If you if you can cut the phone call on there, or whatever. It's all it, it's all part of it. It's all part of the damn interview. All right. So I, I, you can start with the, the the first question now. I'd say, give it like that three, two, one countdown. We'll just dive right in. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. So employee turnover has been an ongoing struggle for not only barber shops but businesses overall. So how do you guys approach capturing and retaining the best people for the job given the challenges you face right now? So right now um, I'm learning a lot from Terry because he's yeah. been doing this for over 30 years and he's been dealing with that problem of employee turnover for you know three decades now. So he knows how the ins and the outs, how it works, what to look for, what, what type of attributes to look for in a, in a barber's character. Um, so he's kind of been helping me out with that and I think he could probably uh, explain it a lot better than I could. Yeah, let's hear it, Terry. Yeah, yeah, just kind of add to it, when it comes down to um, hiring a barber, excuse me, there's, um, that's money calling. <laughs> money calling. Money calls, money talks. Money call, duty call. But like, well, yeah, when it comes down to um, hiring a barber, you have to look at um, pretty much their um, personality. Uh -huh. You have to look at their integrity. You have to have integrity. You know what I'm saying? They have to have dedication. You know what I'm saying? They have to be a, you're looking for the person that 
don't mind speaking the truth. You know what I'm saying? You look for those smaller ears in the barber, then they're gonna stick with you longer. Because it doesn't matter how good you are. If you don't have, if you're not a people person, you can't, you know what I'm saying, just bring out the true love, you know what I'm saying, from your soul, from your next man, you're not gonna be in the barbershop longer. Anyway, you know. So that's what you look for. We look for those principles, love. Charity, you know what I'm saying? Forgiveness, yeah. patience. You know what stuff that's the character. Yeah, stuff that you can't see, those intangibles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That makes up that true bar. Yeah. You know? So that's what I look for, and I find out they last way longer than just grabbing a barber that can cut when you're coming in and you maybe raising, you know, H E double hockey, hockey sticks. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So uh, that's how I, that's how I have. You know, and there, you, so you almost look for sustainable traits, like like that, not so much traits that are rooted in talent, but sustainable traits. And I remember having a conversation with you last time I got my haircut here, Terry, about how your wife cooks with love, and, and you can taste that. Exactly. You cut hair with love too, and you, and you can see it when you walk around, like, like when you're with a barber that cut your hair with love, or a barber that just you know gave you a patch up job. You know, you, you can. You, you can notice that on guys when you're out and about. Yes, yes, it, um, it makes a big difference. Um, that's one thing I can't say about Jack. Jack came to me with the idea of having a barbershop here, but his sole purpose was to a student in the university. You know, he saw that they needed, they didn't have a particular, particular place to go. You know what I'm so he had love for, that, for the university yeah. to create this little labor of love for him to go in and create a shop not knowing it's going to thrive or not. But he had the vision in his mind of creating a better way for them. You know what I'm saying? So everything is in some love, you know? I, I, absolutely. You've know, you, you, you got love for your friends. you got love for the campus. Yeah. You saw something that didn't exist and you you fulfilled, you, you filled the need, you filled the void that existed here before. I mean, when I first got here back in August, mm -hmm. I had a barber at home, Steve Starr, shout out to Steve Starr, does an excellent job every time. But I, I, I didn't know where to go down here initially. Yeah. You know, I did my research, yeah. I didn't know where to go. Yeah. But you know, I, I found out about you guys through um, the, the, the Crimson White yeah. with their article they had on you. Yeah, appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. That's right, Jared, Jared's part of that. You know, it, it was a great article too. I read it, followed you guys on the gram. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check out the old YouTube channel. Yeah, the old YouTube channel as yeah. well. You know, that's that's how we roll. But you know, I, I found out you guys, and now I I, I come here consistently. Yeah. This is this is my place, and the environment's great. You got good conversation flowing. The the music I hear "Wants and Needs" by yeah. Drake back there. And you got great music here, yeah. so. It's all vibe, and I appreciate that. Yeah, I think uh, I appreciate what you said, and uh, yeah. I think Terry just kind of hit it uh, like spot on, and uh, it was just kind of about solving a problem for students at UA. That was kind of like the core of it. Um, that's kind of, I guess, the core of entrepreneurship is trying to solve a problem that society has. Um, so I was trying to solve the problem of a good, close, affordable haircut for students, um, and I think that we're doing that. Three, two, one. So, Crimson Cuts plans to expand to other college towns throughout the Southeast, you know, Florida State, Tallahassee, Auburn, Ole Miss, and Oxford. Um, how do you guys plan to leverage your branding so that it matches the theme of each respective college town that you open a new location in? Okay, so that's a great question. Um, that's something that we're still working out, not 100% uh, has been um, figured out with it, but um, kind of the idea behind it was this was a problem that we had at Alabama um, just with not having a barber shop that caters to students and we at Crimson Cuts think that this is an issue that a lot of students face in colleges all around the United States. So we thought that it would be cool if we could create a brand around a college themed barber shop and whatever city we're operating in, whatever town, whether it's Auburn or UGA in Athens or Clemson, um, we want it to be themed to that school specifically. So here we're Crimson Cuts because we're at the University of Alabama. Um, in Auburn we would be Tiger Trims or Clemson Yeah, Cuts. I like that. And everything inside the barbershop would be themed to that school. Their football team, basketball team, murals of their school, their logos, their colors. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of where we want to go with it, and we're trying to solidify the model with Crimson Cuts to, to so, so that we can replicate it eventually. And, uh, yeah. Well, it's it, it's very versatile. I I think it's because it, it's simple. Like it's just yeah. 
Yeah, it's a simple idea. You know? There's not much to it. Yeah, but it's, it works, so it's, uh, I think it's going to work. Crimson yeah. costs. Like, it, it, it's not too yeah. complex and... But it's new. Something different. It's it, it's new, it's unique, it's mm -hmm. adjustable. I mean, I, I can already picture it, too, like a a, a, a shop like this in Auburn, like Tiger Trips. Yeah. You, know, you got the, the the pictures over there. You can get, like, the pictures from um, Auburn's yeah. Natty back in 2010 when they beat Oregon. Um, I, I hate to say it, it makes me... Whoever can I say but the kick six. Oh man, you're gonna have to bring that up. You're gonna have that up there. You're gonna have that up there, I guess. Uh, I don't if, know. We'll if, if you will. We'll see, we'll see. We'll um, see about that one. Maybe, you know, the times you beat Alabama because it's it's seldom, but like it happens sometimes. You know, the, you, you, you know where the big dog is, but you know. Yeah. It, it happens that, 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 that's like their big event of the year, so I guess they gotta celebrate when that day does come. It didn't yeah. come this year. It probably won't come next year either. It won't come next year. But, you no, know, it, it happens sometimes. Um, they'll get their memorable moments like Clemson's chips up there. Um, Ole Miss. What, what would Ole Miss have up there? <laughs> probably the last time they beat us. Yeah. They could probably get, get, get that up there. Or maybe, you know, pictures of Matt Corral or, um, oh God, Patrick Willis. That would be really cool. Yeah. But I, I always forget Patrick Willis went to Ole Miss. That would yeah. be cool to get, you know, Pictures of that in there, but like kind of customized. Like got the little shrine right here. Like yeah, we got a, actually we actually had a student paint uh, paint that. Uh, really student. here, yeah, yeah. Pan, pan over on that real quick. That, 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 that picture here. Student, uh, our major paint that mural for us. That is awesome. You got Saban down there. And yeah, she cut, made it custom for us. Yeah, yeah. The President's Mansion, Denny yeah. Chimes. There, Brian. Yeah. yeah. The, I see the bridge back there. Yeah. The Black yeah. Warrior. Yeah. That is yeah. epic. Yeah. yeah. Whoever did that, I mean, whoever plaster they should have that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That, that's awesome. But yeah, just it, it, it's a very adjustable model. You know, you, you can just yeah. accommodate to wherever you are. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yep. No, the question uh, is just kind of chips. Yeah. Absolutely. Another uh, which principle uh, that, that I like about cream and cups is that uh, you're gonna come in and get a quality cut no matter. What. Yeah, hair is hair is hair. People are people, you know. We all come yeah. in here and we converse, have you know, have great conversation, bond with each other. That, that, yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, and think about it. I mean, I said, you know, here in the South, that's not. I mean, hair and hair are from Texas. Here in the South, that's really not commonly known for one shop to cook all the Ever, so, yeah. Probably because what I'm saying, they're really is on the edge of, you know, stepping to brand new yeah. territory that other barbers. Shops in the state of Alabama had ventured into. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little deeper than what we're saying. You know what I'm saying? Because uh -huh. that has created something that, that you don't see it anyway. You know what I'm saying? So and, and, and that's pretty deep. And, 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 and that's great because it, it differentiates you. You know that, that that's your that, that's your niche. That's that's your separating yeah. quality. Mm -hmm. And. It, it, it draws people to the shop because they, that, that's a, that's the kind of place I want to get my, my hair cut. Uh, you know, you have all different people in here, and, and, and we're all just vibing and having a good time with each other. Yeah, that's what and, it's about. Yeah, it, yeah it's what it's all about. Yeah. It, it's effortless, yeah. and, and it gives you your own category. So, all, awesome job with that, and I I definitely see that model sustaining in the future for yes, sure. Sir. That's the man. So. We discussed Crimson Cut's niche a little bit and how there was a glaring need on campus for guys to find a consistent haircut because often you'd hear people almost complain about whatever shop they're at, you know, like it's, it, it's not consistent or, you know, they, they wish that they could get a, a better haircut more often, more consistently almost. So, Entrepreneurship is essentially about identifying a problem and formulating a solution to that issue at hand. Um, how do you guys employ that fundamental framework to your business plan here at Crimson Cost? Well, um, kind of just like you said, it's all about you know finding a problem and figuring out a solution um, to that problem. 
And um, when it first came to my attention when um, you know I was going into my junior year of college, and I still had friends all the time asking, "Hey, where do you get your haircut? Where should I get my haircut?" And to myself, I thought, "That's a problem. You've been here for." Three or four years now, and and you're still asking where you go to get your haircut? Like there's something not right there. There, there. there needs to be a barber shop that's for the students, that markets to the students, that gives the students what they want. Um, and that's kind of like what we're trying to do, and this is our solution to that problem. Yeah, but you, get, you, you gotta have. If you're if you've been in a city for for three years and you don't have a definitive barber yet, I mean, for for a guy, that's that that's like a. A component of our lifestyle, like if we, you know, we, we don't have a, a, a definitive barber we go to. I mean, that's an issue. So, be, being able to recognize that and draft a solution, a viable solution, as I can see just from looking around the room right now, the culture here. I mean, that that's truly amazing. That, that's what. How's it going? You know, that, that that that's what. No, that, that his hair came out great. Whoever whoever cut him finessed him up, man. That's that's. That's awesome. He, he's gonna be, he's gonna be feeling like a man walking out of here. Another guy coming here. You see, we're just, we're just capturing the essence. <laughs> this is this is a real organic interview. Um, I have people walking by in the street. I I feel like one of those. Um, you, you know, like when you're leaning up to the natty and you got those. The walk like the, of the, no, uh, no, the the, um, the 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 sports talk shows like oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, first yeah. take, yeah, all, yeah, the, yeah, all the people yeah. walking by, and you're just yeah. waving by like, well, hello. Yeah, as <laughs> you see the yeah. it's a nice front window. You get kind of see the city, and see people walking by. I like that. I I, I, I could just sit here and, and chill for a while. Yeah. But that's awesome, Neil. You, know, you you found a glaring need, which is something that. I mean, Haircuts are important to guys. Mm -hmm. It's part of the fabric of our being. So being able to give guys that consistent option is not only a sustainable business model for you, but it's fantastic for the guy. It makes life that much easier. Mm -hmm. One thing I would um, I would add to that for uh, Jack have an idea to you know. Uh, I have a solution to a problem in the university which was students need to cut. Now, Jack came to me, he emailed me on Instagram and was like, hey, I'm over to the barbershop soon down in um, the city of Tuscaloosa. I was wondering if you could come work for me. He been a business owner himself. I was like, well, I'm not going to work for it. I will. And I'm with him. And, you know, if one of them, how to get a barbershop off the ground, you know. Uh, this is totally up my and again, I love to see him thrive because I didn't even know what I wanted to happen. So I said, hey, let's meet for lunch. We met over here right at World Beer. And uh, we sat and we talked. And I was like, okay, well, you open the four weeks. Uh, how many barbers do you have? And I was like, well, I don't have any barbers. <laughs> and I was like, uh, well, can you cut hair? He was like, no, I can't cut hair. <laughs> he said, all I know is we need one. I built it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much they will come, you know. Yeah, by building they will come. Yeah, yeah, I, had, I had a shop, but no barbers. No barbers, no, no nothing. Can't cut. <laughs> All he knew is a lot of students need cuts. And, and after we talked, you know, we hit it off, and he was like, Mr. T, man, I, I need you. <laughs> will you help me? Will you, will you help me? I opened up four weeks, and I was like, man, I will help you. So I decided to help, and in four weeks, hey. and I ran open, and we had like, a shop was like full of barbers. Oh, yeah, they got people. We had, we had five barbers cutting in four weeks. And we cut about 80 heads on our yeah. over A little bit over 80 heads on the first day. On the first day. So it was like, four, he had four, we had four weeks to pack it out with barbers because we knew we had a few people coming to one day any world. So this shit looks like the Lex here. Right? Yeah. You got the, 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 the rounders yeah. with the, the door, go, the, the line going out the door, wrapping around by Wob. You know, that's, that's awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining me here today and Terry for another immaculate haircut. I mean, look, it, it is what you do. Damn right, it is what you do. You know, you, you take your shit seriously and it shows. But he, he's about his business. And you know, that, that's what I'm striving for right there, too. I want to be about my business. And right now, my hair the way it is, I feel like the man. I can just walk out these doors, conquer the worlds. Don't step in the way of Ryan because. <laughs> I'm coming for it. I'm, yes. I, I'm about that. Thing. I, got, I got that swagger with that haircut now. Let's get it. But let's now, do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But you know, 
an excellent interview. You, know, you guys gave me some great perspectives, some great answers today, elaborating on your story. You know, awesome job. It was a pleasure being here. Sounds good, man. Appreciate you coming by. I appreciate it. Let's hey guys, have a good one. It was an awesome mm -hmm. interview, and um, have a great day. Come down to Cribs and Cuts. Cribs and Cuts, baby. All day, every day. <laughs>